Hi, my name is Carolyn Hawk Horner. I am a co-owner of Gurdjieff Chocolates. Welcome to our factory. My great-grandmother, Gertrude Hogg, founded our company in 1936, and her family, like many others, was struggling to make ends meet during the Great Depression, and she started dipping chocolates in her kitchen to help with her family's finances. Chocolate dipping is like an art. It is something that's like a trade, something that you might learn to do, uh, like welding or plumbing or something else. And she started making chocolates in her kitchen and selling them in her dining room until my grandfather, Elmer Hawk, came back from World War II, he put all of his back pay from the GI Bill into purchasing chocolate machinery. And that's when we really started to become a real business. We have about 10 chocolate lines that run three shifts a day. We have about 200 employees dedicated in our production facility. When you walk through our factory, you, your senses will be tantalized. You'll smell chocolate, obviously. you smell roasted nuts. You'll smell coconut. All the delicious things that you associate with your childhood. The Smidgen was invented in the 1980s. We purchased a piece of equipment called a shell molder, where you deposit a soft center into a piece of chocolate. So the Smidgen was invented, and the first flavor that came out was the peanut butter Smidgen, and it's been our number one bestseller ever since. We love being part of the community. We love being part of Northeastern Pennsylvania. We are rooted here. My great-grandmother started here and my grandparents and my parents. You know, we're very proud of our products. We're very proud of being part of people's family celebrations. There is a sense of nostalgia that is a taste of childhood, the sweetness, a treat that our grandfather takes them after their ballet class to our store and they get a little secret treat. And those are the things that we take pride in and we want to keep going for the next generation. The sweetness we bring to people's everyday lives.